Hello guys, welcome to Mindset Madness. You're probably here because you find yourself a little bit too lazy. Spending hours in the bed, binge watching, Netflix, and doing everything but work on your goals. You're dreaming about making a ton of money, obtaining that killer beach body, or building your own company, but just don't find the motivation to do so. Well, we're here to help you out. In today's video, we're diving deep into the 10 proven ways to stop being lazy. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned to the end to learn all about our number one growth hack to turn your life around completely and crush every single goal you set out for yourself. Number one, focus on your mental health. It's too often ignored and perceived as unnecessary, but our mental health determines our way of living and going about our day. If you cannot control your mind, how do you expect to control your life? When you're suffering mentally, you will automatically be distracted from reality. Your mind will be in a state of war conflicted between what you want and what you need. Gandhi wisely stated that happiness and peace is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. Laziness fully depends on your motivation and take on life. If you're feeling down, depressed, and or lacking a purpose in life, this will easily be translated into countless useless days of doing nothing. Instead of sitting up, defining your goals and working towards them, you'll spend time thinking about why you're in this position and how unlucky you are. All of this instead of realizing that you determine your own path and you are the only one stopping yourself from reaching great heights. Number two, maintain a healthy diet. While people think that maintaining a simple and healthy diet helps us to stay fit and active, it actually also kills our laziness. Heavy and processed foods clutter our bodies and minds. It uses a ton of energy to digest some of the unhealthy things we consume, like sugary drinks and foods junk food as well as simply high processed foods in general. Regardless of what science has proven in the past decades, we clearly also feel the difference between times where we follow a healthy diet and where we let ourselves devour anything that we crave. Even though it feels so good at first, we quickly feel the dip once the bag of chips is empty and it's essential we remind ourselves of this feeling to avoid overeating and destructive behavior. If you're not sure where to start, hop online and pick out a healthy recipe book. Healthy doesn't mean boring. If you really like Mexican food, for example, learn how to cook it without overconsuming the healthy ingredients and follow the recipe for a balanced lunch or dinner. I personally have a tough time following a diet plan, so I don't force myself to do so as it only pushes me to overeat once I give myself the freedom to cheat. Instead, I make sure that I eat right 99% of the time and actually cook food that I enjoy. You don't need to cut our carbs, that's a myth. They are our number one energy provider, but you can limit intake of certain types of carbs and change it up to eating whole wheat pasta as it helps you fill up for longer. Small tricks can have a huge impact. Once you figure them out, you'll feel the healthy impact it has on your mind and therefore your energy levels. Laziness isn't necessarily a character trait, necessarily, but it's commonly a consequence of our lifestyle habits. Number three, make boring tasks fun. Yes. Some tasks are just so damn boring, but you know what? Without those boring tasks, we wouldn't enjoy the fun ones as much. If you want to get rid of your laziness, you'll have to find a way to make the boring tasks fun. Unfortunately, becoming a successful person isn't just all fun and games from day one. You actually have to work on things that you don't enjoy and deal with situations that you don't necessarily like. Constantly avoiding the boring tasks only stalls your progress. You're best off tackling them first thing in the morning so you have the rest of the day to devote to what you like to do best. Some of my least favorite tasks are doing the dishes and cleaning the house, but I've managed to turn it around by listening to music or a podcast or turning on the TV as I do so. By doing this, I boost my mood as I sing and dance to the music and learn while listening to some of my favorite podcasts. You might have to force yourself a little bit at first, but after a while, you feel the benefits of combining these two things quite strongly. Instead of having to look for the time to listen to my podcast, I now can tick off two to-dos at the same time, and I become more motivated to start the rest of my day. I've already accomplished two things. Why stop now? Number four, exercise. It's no secret that regular exercise and motivation are linked. Growing up, we've always been told that exercise makes you active and energetic. This is absolutely true. Exercise has been an effective tool to make one happy, healthy, and fit. And at the same time, it reduces or almost kills laziness. It has been scientifically proven that exercise reduces anxiety, stress, depression, and other mental issues. It helps to improve one's mood 
and increase the energy level in our body as we feel like we've accomplished something. If you work out consistently, you won't only feel better mentally because of the hormonal release, but also because of the positive physical changes you're experiencing. A regular workout routine combined with a healthy diet can change your body in a matter of weeks. You'll feel mentally strong as you follow your routine and don't give in on days that you don't want to get up and break a sweat, then you'll feel physically strong because you simply are. It can be a little bit tough at first, getting yourself to put on that workout outfit, but push yourself through the first times and you'll soon be used to it and won't want to skip a workout for any money in the world. The dopamine and adrenaline highs are addictive and you'll want to grow by regularly leveling up your routine or running itinerary. Where you could barely finish a 5 mile run one month ago, you're now training for a half a marathon in 2 weeks. Give your body time to adapt and don't start too fast, too intense. There are numerous free workout guides that you can follow to find what suits you best. Go to the gym with a friend and sign up for a challenge to stay motivated. Whenever you work towards a goal, you're more inclined to continue fighting for it. Number 5. Stop waiting for that ideal time Whoever looks for excuses will find them. It's too cold and rainy to go running, and you've had a bad night's sleep, so today is simply not the day. But who are you fooling? There will never be a perfect time to chase your goals, unless you accept that any time is a good time to start working towards what you want to achieve. You won't ever become successful. Mondays aren't the only day to start your new diet plan. You can also start on a Wednesday or even Friday, when everybody else is indulging in junk food and alcohol. Regardless of what other people are doing, make sure that you are focused on the goals you want to crush and define whether you want that to happen sooner or rather later. Every single day you make yourself believe is a bad day to start is a day wasted. Let's compare. Imagine you start defining your purpose today and you write down 10 steps to get there and you start that first step today. Now let's take someone who waits until next week because this week is just a little bit too busy. Who do you think will have the head start? You or the second person? It doesn't really matter whether you've already wasted time in the past because you can't change that. Don't fall into the pitfall of paralysis analysis. The latter is the idea that analyzing every part of your plan stops you from actually starting it. The best way to learn is to usually just dive in with caution. Don't take stupid risks, but don't withdraw from difficult situations either. Find the right balance between a situation where you feel like you've learned a lot and have analyzed your strategy extensively and learning by doing. I started day trading a couple of years ago, and I only really started to learn once I signed my first orders. Even though I lost some money in the beginning, I've made more profit now than I would have if I still be studying in the market without taking any action. Number 6. Create a plan One of the biggest reasons why we become lazy includes the lack of plan for action. We usually don't know what our goals are, what things we need to do to accomplish them, and therefore what our next step is. We lack motivation and become lazy. So sit down for a couple of hours, define what you want to achieve in life, and then think of the path to get there. If you want to make a lot of money, what are some of the best ways to do so? Do some research and make a list of 5-10 to 10 things that have potential, scrap off the ones that you have no personal interest in, and finish with the top 3. If you really want to become good at something, focus on it and make sure you study the pitfalls, risks, and best practices. You can also build a network and get to know people that are in that same business, Experience is the best teacher so people who would have been around for a while can probably teach you more than any textbook would. Once you've picked that one tool, identify the different steps in the process and simply start doing. Avoid the analysis paralysis trap as we stated earlier in the video and get your hands dirty. If at first you fail, congrats! You've learned a lesson and now is the best time to continue and try again. The only difference between people who have succeeded and those who haven't is consistency. Successful people know it takes weeks, months, and even years to turn a dream into a reality. But when they do, the hard work and tough times have paid off. There are many ways to make money without having to invest in huge amounts. Take a look at trading crypto, NFTs, making YouTube videos, or even selling your own art. You've got this, and we believe in you. Number 7. Give yourself some time. Life can be extremely hard sometimes, so be patient when it gets tough. We wouldn't experience any highs if we didn't know what the lows feel like. Whenever you find yourself in a difficult or scary situation, analyze it and see what you can do to change it. If the outcome is out of your control, then find the best coping mechanism that reduces your stress and anxiety. We'd recommend frequent exercise and meditation. The most important thing is to understand that there comes an end to every difficult situation. 
and that you can learn from it, so it's better to look at it as a lesson than a test. Give yourself some time to recover from the wounds that have affected you deeply and are constantly pressuring you. If you're not going to give yourself the energy and the time you deserve, then you will no longer stay committed to your goal. This basically means that it's very easy to give up when you hit a road bump, but the reward that comes after you faced it is 10 times bigger. You will feel unmotivated, which will result in laziness. Laziness comes your way when you are overwhelmed by everything around you. It might be good to take a step back and define whether the goals you set for yourself are too far-fetched right now, and that it might be better to break it down into even smaller tasks. This doesn't mean that you're giving up. This simply means that you've set the bar too high, and by continuing to do so, you might fail due to increased pressure. Imagine you're training for a marathon and you gave yourself two months to do so, but you feel that your body is suffering greatly. Is it better to extend the period to three months or to give up right now because you feel like you've taken on too much on your plate? Well, we'll always vouch for the first option as you're still going to reach your goal. If you're constantly confronted with failure and giving up, you will become lazy and stop undertaking anything. You decide whether or not you continue, so get up, get going, and crush it. Number eight, seek help when needed. Nobody should be ashamed to share their thoughts and emotions. It actually makes you a happier and better person. Cluttering your brain with negative feelings can easily cause depression and loneliness. The worst feeling is to feel alone in a room full of people. And the best way to avoid this is to talk about what you're experiencing. Whether you seek help from friends, family, or professionals, being listened to can create a sense of belonging. Once you share what's pulling you down, you acknowledge your suffering and can start working towards a solution. People too often keep their heartache in secret and the pain can overtake one's whole being. It will impact everything they do on a daily basis and lead to isolation and in some of the worst cases, suicide. Even though it starts small, accumulating negative and hurtful thoughts can break someone's confidence and self-esteem. Open up to someone you trust and feel comfortable around. This could be a parent or sibling or even your best friend. Talk to someone that knows you well and can give you good advice. Number nine, get organized. Whether you agree or not, your environment has a lot to do with your physical and mental well-being. It greatly affects the way we think and live. We feel calm, relaxed, and peaceful when we're walking along the coastline or in a green area. We feel energetic and refreshed, right? The same goes for your work environment. If your desk is cluttered with books, notes, post-its, and maybe even dirty clothes hanging around your room, your mind will mimic and mirror this feeling. This dull environment will definitely make you idle and it will distract you from what you really need to do. Organize everything. Clean your bed. Collect clutter from the floor. Put things back in their place and organize your work table. It is important to observe the little distractions in your surroundings to keep you away from your target. You might not consider it, but in our subconscious mind, a little change in shape or form, the color palette or the amount of light somewhere greatly affects our behavior and everyday decisions. You can try out different setups to see which one suits you best. Once you've found the golden setup, start working and crushing those goals. Number 10. Quit smoking. Smoking has been one of the most dangerous and risky habits some of us possess. People know that it can cause great destruction to the human body and can even lead to death in the worst case scenario. As it's a type of addiction, your mind is automatically set to work around it. When will I be able to take a break to smoke one and if I leave now, will it give me enough time to light one before that meeting? Your life changes to suit your smoking schedule. Unfortunately, this leads to lack of motivation and concentration to reach your goals and therefore general laziness. You don't want to undertake any action because it might come in the way of your bad habit. But that is exactly what it is, a bad habit, and you need to get rid of it to be able to focus on something else. Even though having a smoke makes you feel good in the short term, it does great damage in the long run. Your physical and mental dependence gets in the way of doing anything else. Smoking also leads to decreased physical condition and breathing problems. Your blood circulation and oxygen levels are greatly impacted by your bad habit and your general health plummets. This in turn leads us back to our mental and physical health. You can't expect to feel healthy when you're indulging in bad habits. You can't expect to feel energetic and motivated when your mind and body are in a state of stress, depression, and anxiety. The first few days and weeks of quitting such a bad habit can be tough, but positive results are right around the corner. From personal experience and having gone through numerous studies of ex-smokers, I have never come across someone who regrets giving up smoking. Mental health, 
physical abilities, and condition are a top priority to be able to combat laziness. Like we said, laziness is a mere consequence of bad habits and the simple depiction of being unhappy and stuck in a situation you don't enjoy. We often state that when one pillar of your self-discipline falls, the rest follow. Try to write down what type of bad habits and weaknesses you have and link it to one or multiple of our 10 tips mentioned previously. Make sure to check out the video linked to your left to dive deeper into learning how to become successful at anything in life. Don't forget to subscribe and to support the channel.